Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video we're going to be reviewing the Honey web app and Chrome extension. So if you don't know, Honey is a platform which allows you to save money while you're shopping by suggesting coupons for you when you're on a site that is supported by Honey, and to also give you cash back in the form of Honey Gold whenever you make a purchase while you have the Honey extension installed on certain websites. In addition to that, if you're shopping through Amazon, then what it will allow you to do is to drop list an item, which means to save that item for later. And if Honey detects a price drop, it'll automatically notify you, uh, typically by email, about that price drop. So if you decide that, oh, this is cheap enough to actually warrant purchasing that item, then you can easily do that at a later date. So in many ways, Honey is actually similar to another site I'm a pretty big fan of called Camel Camel Camel, which as you can see here also does the Amazon price drop alerts thing. The only issue here is that Camel 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 only really focuses on the price drop listing component. Now whenever you go to a site that Honey supports, you'll notice that its colors light up here. On other sites it'll be disabled with just a grayscale color scheme. And it'll also show how many coupons it went ahead and found for you. So while you're shopping on sites like Amazon, Honey will have these buttons over here where it'll try to get you the best price possible. If the price is currently at the best price currently available on Amazon and there hasn't been a lower price recently, it'll just go ahead and say this is the best price, so you're probably okay to go ahead and buy. Um, but in this case, there's actually a price history for this Xbox One console. So by clicking and opening it, we can see the current price judged against earlier prices. So here we can see in uh, February 24th of 2018, it was actually down to 219. So just by knowing that information, we could decide to wait to buy it at this price for maybe another month or two until it drops back down to a price like that. Now back on the Amazon page, there'll be this button over here, add to drop list. So if we decide we don't want to buy it at this price, we want to wait for it to go down a bit, uh, we can click over here and just set a price threshold where if it drops below this price, it'll let us know. How long do you want to have the price notify you for, which can be either 30, 60, or 90 days. And if you hit add to drop list, it'll be tied into your account. So here we can go ahead and click view drop list to see which items are currently on here. So we can see here, um, I added this robotic vacuum, iLife, not actually Roomba. And it looks like it dropped by $2 in the last few days. But also here, rather than just seeing the save amount, we can click on an item and see its price history. So let's check out for this um, USB based solar charger. And we can see that there were a few times actually where it dropped down to about $50, $40, or $45, sorry, uh, where currently it's $60. So uh, if we actually waited for one of these days where the price actually drops, it would be a pretty easy way to save an extra $10 or so. Okay, so let's test over on Overstock and see if we can get this extra code to automatically apply for us, which is one of the advantages of Honey. You don't have to know about these codes. Any codes that are in their database will be tried at checkout. Um, so let's see, it has to be an order of $200 or more. So let's just grab some big item here. Possibly a rug seems fine. So we will add this to the cart. So we will add this to the cart. Uh, we can also activate the rewards. So that's the honey gold thing where uh, it'll try to give you cash back whenever you make a purchase in the form of honey gold, which you can use on first, which you can use on future purchases. So you always want to activate that. Let's see down here. It looks like the coupon actually already applied here. So to be honest, I'm not actually 100% sure if that applied automatically by the site or if Honey did that. So let me show you what the automatic coupon application might look like over here on Groupon. So I'm going to hit uh, apply button and we'll come over here and apply coupons. In order to try to test the codes automatically, you might notice over here in this coupons box, it's going to be putting the coupons in, hitting apply, putting them in, hitting apply. Um, seeing if any of them work for you, basically. Now, I already know that the current coupons here, specifically on Groupon, are currently expired, but uh, that's how it would work on any site where there are coupons. It'll at least give it a shot to see if they apply. So that's the general idea of how Honey works to save you money. Whenever you go on Amazon, it'll price check against historic prices and see if you have the best price available for you. 
you can do a price drop list so that you can come back at a later date when the price drops. And on other sites, it'll not only apply the automatic cash back of Honey Gold, but it will also try to apply coupons that may exist for that site. And if you're curious about what sites uh, are currently being used by Honey users, uh, these would be some of them in the trending stores section. So you can see a lot of stores in the West actually have some support here for Honey. I think my only real complaint about the app currently is that when they do get codes, it seems like it takes a little while for them to update. So you might not actually see working codes in the same day those codes come out. Uh, I understand that's kind of community based because people submitting codes is one of the ways they get that. And then likewise, expired codes might take a little while to get off of their system as well. But aside from that, the fact that it has the price drop list of Camel Camel Camel, which is a tool I was using quite a bit before, uh, the fact it can give you some cash back on a lot of different store purchases, basically at no extra cost to you, um, the fact that it can tell you if you're getting the best price on Amazon right off the bat before you even add something to the cart, and that you can do a one-click drop list on items, means that if you're a big internet shopper, I think that this is a tool that's really going to be useful for you. Surprisingly, Honey is actually one of the few plugins that is Brave browser supported. They really try to go light on the browser add-ons that you're allowed to use here. So if you want to check Honey out, I'm going to be leaving a referral link down below. I think it's a really cool tool. I was always a big fan of Camel 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 over here, and this just seems like the next step in its evolution. So that's going to be it for this video. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my future video content.